Hi Divas, this is your girl Hawaii Nani, aka Vanessa coming to you with a, um, it's going to be a, a kind of a, a mixture of things I'm going to be doing in this video. Um, it's all involving uh, a haul and also a look for Valentine's Day that I'm going to be doing really quickly. Um, I'm going to be also demoing uh, some products that I ordered and received in my haul. Um, first thing is the thing I mentioned to you. Um, I have received, well, I uh, placed the order at BH Cosmetics, and I have ordered their foundation. I ordered two of them, so this is the one I'm using right now. And uh, I want you guys' opinion on how it looks on me. Um, so far from what I've seen in my own perspective, it looks really good. My mom said it looks really good with my skin tone. My skin fluctuate colors from time to time being summer, winter. I'm pretty sure you ladies know, I'm pretty sure you ladies have had that situation before in your past or future, whatever the case may be. But here is my liquid foundation and it's in the color Mocha. And this here is what I'm working with from um, BH. And I will also give you a review on this product. Um, I'm, also are gonna, I'm also gonna be using another product that I ordered um, from ELF and it's the Lock and Seal Makeup uh, Lock and Seal product. Um, so far, um, I'm liking what it does and how it enhances your um, makeup eyeshadow and I'm using my Brazil and sugar pill red color for this look as well as a cut crease it's a small cut crease with a blend of colors I'm using for Valentine's Day and I'm gonna go ahead and get started um, I've already done one side of my face I'm not gonna apply the foundation to last so I'm gonna go ahead and start the tutorial and um, using the color Love Plus as well as a mixture of um, Flame Point from Sugar Pill. And I'm going to start by applying that to my left eye. What I'm going to do first is apply a transition color into the crease. Um, I'm going to be using my new, uh, new tube palette and I'm going to be using this color and a mixture of this color together. And this is the color sultry and the color sexy from that palette. I'm just going to use this as, an, as a blending color. I'm going to turn the light on so you guys can get a little better view of it. Just going to apply that as a blending color as well as sexy on top of that. It's gonna come come out dark, and that's the way I want it to. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> I'm just gonna take my um, RC Cosmetic brush, concealer brush. I'm just gonna apply a little concealer on my lid here, and this is kind of acting as my tape. This is an out of tape and it just kind of cuts off any uneven spots there. Now taking a brush of cosmetic um, this brush I'm just going to take a black, any black will do. And I'm just going to go into my crease, give a little small cut crease. I'm just going to take my RC blending brush and just kind of blend that out. And it's going to be a repeat step so that you can get the consistency you want. And I'm just going to blend until I get the gradient effect to fade out a little bit. Let me change my mirror here, guys. I apologize. That mirror is a little cracked, so it's kind of hard to see from. Taking that and just kind of blending it out gently. Now I'm going to take um, that same brush that I used before and prep it off. I'm going to go into the red color Love Plus. I'm just going to apply that on top of that and just kind of blend it 
in a little bit as well as a flank point. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. Okay. Taking my blooming brush, going into the orange color. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit, kind of using that brush, swiping any darker spots, making it like a light fade, if that makes sense. This is how I do it. You can do it optionally, it's your choice. Taking that same color and blending it in here. Now, on my lid, I will be using the um, lock and seal. I'm going to put a little bit here. It comes with a little jar, a little jar as well as a brush. And I will do a review on this so I can give you further details on how I do it. I'm pretty sure you've seen a lot of videos on this product on YouTube. But um, I'm just doing my own review on it. I'm going to just take that brush, take that brush. I'm just going to rub it into that red a little bit. It wasn't that you know, saturated, but take that red color place it onto the lid and get it as prominent as I like just pat that red on there and this is a matte color so if you guys can see how it's applying very well onto my lid and sometimes I'll have to take a lot to get that red to transfer onto my lid and with this stuff, it helps out a great deal in my opinion. I'm just going to take my makeup wipe here and wipe off any extra that I may have transferred to the bottom lid here. <clears throat> and I'm just going to take this crease brush, go back into the black. And I'm just going to um, freshen up that cut crease. Taking the blending brush, kind of blending it out real gently. And I'm just going to take this brush, just like my concealer brush, and hold. I'm just going to update this brow bone color. Okay. And it helps with um, the lid color and everything's transferred. I'm just going to go into this white color from YouTube and just kind of blend that onto the brow bone, kind of give it, enhance it and lighten it up a little bit. Okay. Going back into the red color from Sugar Pill Love Plus color. I'm just going to apply that red right back onto my lid and just kind of clean up any areas here. And I'm just going to go back here using this other colors here and then a little bit red there. Apply this on top of that cut crease. I'm going to update that cut, cut crease three more times before I get it. Now I'm just going to use my um, angle brush to go into that black. And deepen that cut crease a little bit more and I'm just going to take, get my blending brush blended blended blend it up and blend it out Now, I'm just going to uh, switch out here using my...